We have arrived to our Wednesday, and we've got a professional yogi in the building. Azalea, how are you? Fabulous this morning. We have a series going on where we're talking about our chakras. If you would be so kind, what does that mean when I say chakra? A chakra is a wheel of energy in the body. It's those energy centers. We have seven of them. Think of the rainbow all the way up from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. All seven of them, if they're out of alignment, we feel various lackings in our lives, imbalance balances, feeling some lethargy, some lack of creativity, some lack of feeling centered in who you are. It's easy to balance these over time if you just take a few minutes in your day to be mindful about what you're balancing and why. So on Wednesday, what would be a good chakra to focus on? Wednesday, I would do the solar plexus chakra. This is Manipura, and it means resplendent transformation. Ooh. One of my favorite chakras. It's associated with the color yellow. So we're going to do bananas, lemons, anything that has that kind of bright yellow color to it to help balance the stomach out. Some squash. Squash, yes. I love a summer squash. Right? So delicious. Delicious. Where's the solar plexus chakra located? It is below the chest, kind of in the center of the stomach. Okay. And it's associated with the element of fire. So think of that digestive fire we talk about. It keeps your entire body kind of flowing, your sense of self, sense of who you are, and how you can transform that resplendent transformation that's mentioned in the name. It's the source of your power, energy, personal will and your ambition. Ooh. How would you be able to pinpoint that the chakra is out of alignment? You tend to go along with the crowd because you lack that sense of inner will. You kind of don't want to fight for things that maybe are actually important to you to kind of not have that sense of belonging be taken away. You lack assertion. So even if it goes against your personal beliefs or will, you're going to just accept it and stand in the back as opposed to saying, I disagree with this and this is wrong. And that's something that, especially nowadays, we don't want to have lacking in our lives. Right. So if you feel like you have sluggish digestion, if you lack drive, motivation, assertion, if you're clinging to negative thoughts, you have that attachment to negative emotions, you don't really have that center of self, you're feeling tired, weak, ill, and you're hard on yourself. You're doubting your own attributes. Ah. Once again, tied to that center of self, all in the belly, all in that central chakra in the solar plexus. I love that. And each one of these chakras has a mudra. What would be the one for the solar plexus? The mudra is the hands are placed between the heart and the stomach, the thumbs are going to overlap in between the chest and the stomach. And I know she's talking like we can see it. You can head over to KFFM.com. I'm taking a picture and I'm going to put it over on our website. So that way you can have a reference of every single day and every single mudra. I keep using the root one because I really, I feel like that's a good one that you would go outside and you would be seated. Is there a certain place that you could dive into this and it would be a little bit better for you? Ooh, for this one specifically, I wonder probably somewhere that you feel a sense of self, maybe in your own bedroom, maybe in your own living room, somewhere that you really feel at home and you feel like your ideas are not being pulled to somebody else's whim at all. So there isn't that distraction of trying to feel protective. You have a moment to really relax, to breathe, to do that mantra of I do. So that assertion, you're really working on manifesting that assertion, being mindful about how you can really stand firm in your beliefs and strengthen that solar plexus chakra that's out of balance. I love that. So finding a safe place for yourself. And if you don't have that safe space, how about we create one today? Yeah. Walk around, figure out what that would look like. And mm-hmm. it doesn't even have to be a huge space. It could just, no. you know, have a little lamp and a little, I don't know, some pillows. Yeah. Who knows what's going on, but exactly. it's your own thing to some do. Space for you. Really yes. just being intentional about making it a place that you feel secure and you feel like you're your own. Yes. Super yeah. important to make mm-hmm. sure that you are feeling confident in your own body. Because yes. gosh, that's the worst when you're just feeling off and you can't really pinpoint it. So this is neat to be going through this stuff. And every single day, like I said, we're going to be going through a different chakra and what it means. And the details can be found at kffm.com. We have a couple saunas that they could do. Oh yeah, um, we need a move. For the solar plexus one, probably the easiest would be the boat pose. So for a boat pose, Navasana, you would sit on your sits bones, kind of think of like a V up, the shape of a V. When you say sits bones, because most people... it's your glutes on your booty. Your butt. Okay. sit your peach down on the (laughs) ground and you lift the chest up so there's kind of nice straight flat back as best you can really lift the heart up to the sky arms are going to reach forward and then the knees will bend you can bring the tips of the toes to the floor so you can put your hands on the thighs on the back really hold
pull that energy up, rise up. And if you feel strong enough, you can lift one leg, you can lift both legs. You can even let the thighs go, really just palms up to receive that energy, that action of I do, I'm strong, I'm assertive, I stand for what I believe in. Well, welcome to your Wednesday. (laughs) Thank you. Welcome.